All right, Max, uh, blocking for Jerome Bettis, how was it and what special part of this day is for you? Uh, it, it, blocking for Jerome was, was a blessing. You know, it's a childhood dream come true. You know, you, you think about all the years and what he's done and what he's meant as a player, you know, as a kid watching him. I mean, I was in the sixth grade when he started his career and went, and went to L.A. So to be able to go through high school, go through college, and then have the opportunity to play with such a legendary man uh, was truly special. And blocking for him was, was kind of easy. It's like if you got the hole, he was going to run through it and he was going to barrel through even if you missed your assignment on the second level. And the thing is, you know, we always remember, he's like, hey, don't get in, in the way of Bussy. Do not get in the way of him because he will run you over. And I was unfortunate. Uh, one play, <laughs> I was coming down on a double team and it was off tackle. And my, my leg was kind of in the way in the hole. And he ran slap dab over my leg. And I was like, yeah, when, when, the, when the bus is going, get off the road. And I, I learned that the hard way. And from that point forward, I always knew, hey, if you give him a hole, he's going to follow it and he's going to entrust in you. And that, that's what made us better as offensive line was knowing that, hey, we set up the block, bus is going to hit where he's supposed to. And he always did, and it was always a positive result. So that was, that was a blessing.